Oh, hello! So welcome to my second episode of Will It Combo? So, what is Will It Combo, you ask? Hey, well, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but just literally no one asked, so. Well, like, literally no one, so. That's fine, I'll tell you anyways. Lucky us. Will It Combo is a show where I have my friends challenge me to combine horribly unlikely combinations of food, and then I get all the ingredients, and I combine them together for you, and then I consume them. I know, it's a terrible idea, right? Right. Right. Okay, so today's friend who's challenging me to combine something horrible and very, I'm sure, awful together is Drew Monson. Hey, little Garrett. It's me, little Drew, and I want you to eat a pizza with some special stuff on it. That's right, I'm a pizza boy. You know that, Daddy. I love pizza. I do it all the time. Sometimes I can't leave the house, so I need to do a special type of pizza called DiGiorno, and that's what I need you to get. I need you to get a specific type of DiGiorno pizza called Three Meat Pizza. It has sausage, pepperoni, and a third mystery meat that I just never seem to ask about. And if you don't get that, you are under arrest. <laughs> And because I'm a chocolate boy as well, I need you to dip that entire pizza in Hershey's Cookies and Cream Chocolate Bars Melted. My favorite chocolate bar since I was a child, Garrett. Oh, I also want you to cover every single pepperoni in Reese's cup. I don't want to see a pepperoni in sight. Just Reese's, baby. And I also want you to try to line the entire thing with Kit Kat. You know how they're lined so you can kind of just make it a Kit Kat lined pizza. Also, for good measure, just throw some f***ing sour Skittles on there and have a good time. Sorry, I know it's chocolate, but do your thing, daddy. Have fun. Welcome to Garrett's show. Aw, uh, thanks, Drew. That'll be fun. Well, let's get started here. Luckily for me, there's a magical place on this earth where I can go to acquire every single one of these items. Is it cool if I talk to you for a second? Yeah. I just wonder, chocolate on your pizza? What? Uh, Coke? <laughs> <laughs> pizza, yeah. As much as I loved that conversation, I had to get into Target because I had to focus on finding the ingredients I needed. And it went pretty smoothly. In fact, right away I found the pizza Drew was talking about, so I had my first ingredient, the pizza, and then we headed to the candy aisle where immediately I found the Reese's, then I found the Kit Kats, and then of course I found the Skittles. Skittles. Oddly enough, the only thing they didn't have there at Target were the White Hershey's chocolate bars, but it's okay because I found them later that day at the dollar store. Quick life hack, dollar stores carry everything. Right, but back to Target because I had two more things to get. First thing, a pot to melt or chocolate because I don't have anything like that. I did find this pot, but it had a really stupid picture on it and it was way too expensive. So I decided against getting the dumb expensive of white bread pot. I have a pan at home that I make eggs in sometimes. It'll probably work to melt the chocolate. But something cool did happen in the kitchen section. I found this broken price gun and I recreated that scene from Kill Bill Volume 2. <laughs> Even though I knew I must have looked cool as hell pretending to be Uma Thurman in the middle of Target, I had to focus on finding my last item because it was the most important. You see, my stove at home isn't currently working and we need a way to melt the chocolate, so I needed to find a stove in the camping section. Yeah, ridiculous, I know, but apparently here in Los Angeles, if you want your stove to work, you have to pay your gas bill, and I forgot to, so this will have to do for now. And yeah, for the record, buying this damn stove is way more expensive than my $8 gas bill. Confession, I'm really shitty at being an adult and I honestly don't know how I keep myself alive. As I was leaving Target, I found some incredible stuff, a copy of Casper, a copy of the B-movie, a copy of Beethoven, a disgusting picture of a baby, a very promiscuous Elsa, and an even more promiscuous mini. <laughs> Silly me, can you believe it? I almost left Target without supporting my friend Shane Dawson by picking up a copy of his new book, It Gets Worse. All right, so here we have it. Right, we're getting right into it. The first thing that we have to do is bake this pizza, which, um, you know, my oven doesn't work on account of the, the, the gas bill situation. So I'm gonna go bake it at my neighbor Sadie's apartment. She'll be cool with it. Sadie, thanks for letting me use your place to bake my pizza. You watching the B movie? I just got that at Target. Okay, you know what? While that pizza's baking, what we're gonna do is we're gonna organize our chaos here. So let's, let's prepare our ingredients for when the pizza's done, okay? So this is all clean, this is all beautiful, and I'm very certain that I'm gonna break one of these pieces of glass. We'll see. Okay, so we have 13,368 Cabrillion Hershey's bars. So let's break all these up. <laughs> that was racist, sorry. That was probably, I shouldn't make that sound. Don't ask about this. Okay, these are broken up as damn. Beautiful baby, what? Bye. Beautiful. Boy, have you ever even ever seen something so prancing in your life? Prancing is a new word, means pretty and handsome. But there's more white chocolate where that came from. I know Drew didn't technically say white chocolate morsels or whatever, but I want to make sure we have a lot of white chocolate in there. So, I should have put my tongue under it when they were coming down. This is beautiful. You're beautiful. I would take you to the winter formal if I could, but I can't because you're chocolate and I'm not like a little boy. Oh, got our little Skittles. Good. Next up, the Kit Kats that we have to line the pizza with. All right. Oh, the pizza. And don't let me forget it. It's still only been about 15 minutes. Oh, Kit Kats are freaking. Mm. Hi, babies. Ooh, these are kind of cute together, right? All right, now let's get these Reese's open. Let's put together this uh, potential, literally explosive thing. And this is going to go very badly. 
There are instructions. I'm good. Using this in an enclosed space can kill you. Well, it's a good thing this isn't a DIY video, okay? Just don't be me. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. If I die, I die. It's fine. It's gonna happen eventually. Let's get started. Damn it, the pizza. Well, I just got it from my neighbors. I burnt the shit out of it. So there's that. Right, let's get back to the scary thing. Come with me. Now look, this is gonna go quick. We have our chocolate here. It seems to be burning kind of quickly too, but that's okay. If we keep it moving, we'll be just fine. The chocolate is scorched. I know it might not look that bad, but it's that bad. Moment of truth, damn it. Oh, you know what? I need a, I need a Christmas glove, because this is so hot. Ouch, that was so hot, I'm gonna freaking scream. I hate myself right now. Okay. Oh boy, look at that. I wanted a beautiful, snow white, gorgeous pizza. Get out of here. That pan reminds me of my failures. Look, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use a very different looking picture for the thumbnail. How would I put this in a thumbnail? We have to line it with Kit Kats, just like baby Drew said. Don't you dare think it looks good. You, you, don't, you don't know. You know, Drew said put any Reese's over any pepperonis. Sorry, but I don't really see any pepperoni. But what we're gonna do, is go ahead and just put a few of these on top anyways because damn it why not Ooh, those are melting quickly i'm telling you you have no idea how hot this stuff is oh you're kind of cute look at you what is that oh oh that, that's still um atomic on the inside i just gave my tongue i know a third degree burn oh i almost forgot about the skittles taste the rainbow brother look at what do you think, little pumpkins? What do you think? This is done, okay? So I'm gonna put this in the freezer to kind of cool off because there are still things that are scalding hot in here. So let me do that right now. Okay, so that monstrosity is cooling down in the fridge. I've cleaned my space here a little bit. And in the meantime, how about a song from the Honey Sticks? Summertime kisses and summertime fun. I woke up from a dream, then I went to the store. You guys got a name for that song? Summertime Kisses, and then in parentheses, Summertime Fun. It's good. But thank you. Let's grab the pizza. Right, what do we have here? We have pepperoni, white chocolate, sausage, uh, peanut butter, mystery meat, Skittles, cheese, tomato sauce, bread. This one's for you, Monson. Oh, it cuts beautifully. Let's get ourselves a big slice of chocolate covered pizza. Okay, don't ever lick a knife. Don't ever lick a knife, anyone. Whoa! What if this was a will it combo where it actually comboed? What if I don't end up over a toilet right now throwing up? All right, cheers. Gross, guys. It tastes like just everything ruined. Maybe that was just a harsh bite. Damn it. Let's try it again. Sorry, maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe that was a bad bite. No. Oh. No. Oh. It's not only greasy, but it's sickeningly sweet. Under the sugar, there's just the taste of tomatoes and grease and spicy sausage, and it's gristly and gritty, and the crust is so thick. This is so bad. Damn it. It looks so good. It looks like a cake. You know what? I'm gonna find some optimism in this. If I can just get the crust, maybe that'll be good. Look, 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 look. It's not that saturated and... Oh no, there's a piece of hair in it. Do you see? I can't win. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't even look like my hair. I and mean, no one ever comes in here, so I don't know whose hair that was. This crust looks hair free. No. And then it's all burnt too. That's, everything's burnt. I'm sad as damn to report that it does not freaking combo. Heartbreaking. I know it seems like I've wasted a lot of food here. There are a lot of raccoons that hang out in my neighborhood and they are gonna get this bad boy and I promise you it'll be the best meal of their lives. I mean, yeah, it'll probably kill them eventually and they will get little raccoon diabetes, um, but you know. Curse you, pizza. Drew, thank you very much for today's combo. It did not combine at all. Guys, if you aren't familiar with Drew's videos, he's one of the funniest people on YouTube, so definitely go check him out if you're not familiar already. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had a good time. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Um, hey, you guys did an awesome job, uh, but you can clear out if you want. Sorry. Thank you so much. Yeah. Could you just, could you just watch the painting behind you, please? Bye, Garrett. Bye, Ricky. Bye, Caleb. Bye, Garrett.
So if you like what you've seen, just subscribe here, okay? We're gonna have a great time. Every Thursday I'll be here. So before you go, something that I love to do is I love to talk to you guys in the comments and get to know you. I read every single comment, and then I love to feature my favorite comments in my videos. So last week I had a video where I was talking to kids, so I thought it'd be cool to ask you guys the strangest thing that you thought as a kid, like the weirdest misconception you had. And your guys' answers were absolutely incredible. So here's some of my favorites. Julia said, when I was a kid, I had a crush on Woody from Toy Story. Look, join the club. Woody's very charming. I was more of an Aladdin guy myself. What? Look at him, he's dreamy. Rachel McKenzie said, when I was a child, I used to think babies came from outer space. Rachel, some do. Bye. I'm just saying, he did. Alex Fizzy had one of my favorite comments. When I was a kid, I used to think that ants were the souls of other bugs. Oh, that's so cute. Little ant ghosts. Maggie Glidewell said, I used to think that Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus were two different people. Maggie, me too, until I was about 23 years old. I'm serious. I didn't watch the show, so I just knew it as like this pop culture reference, and I just always heard those two names. Thought the same thing. Darcy Smith said, when I was younger, I thought jet lag was a sickness you got from riding a plane. Darcy, isn't it? Alistair Tetzlov said, when I was younger, I thought if you watched a movie, any kind of movie, it would happen to you in the future. I was wrong. Sad violin music. Uh, no, not sad violin music. <laughs> you should be very glad that movies are not your future sometimes. Oh, unless it meant that you could experience this. Musha Mikasa said, hey Gara, I always thought I would meet Dora one day. You're fine. I'm sorry, but she seems like she might be a little annoying. Like, we get it. He's white. Give it up, Dora. Randy Watts said, When I was a kid, I thought the members of my family were the only ones that called mayonnaise, mayonnaise. I really thought we invented that name for it. And then I said, Hi, Dad, love you, because that's my father. Not 2016 use of dad, but my biological father. So, hi, Dad. Okay, for this week's thing that I want to hear from you guys, I want to hear about the biggest kitchen disaster you've ever had. It could be a fire, it could be a recipe you tried, maybe you broke your arm in the kitchen, I don't know. I want to hear about something that happened in a kitchen that just went very, very badly, because I burned stuff today and I made something that made me sick it was horrible so let's hear about something horrible that happened in a kitchen to you please all right guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet you know what to do and I appreciate you and I'll see you next Thursday all right bye if um, Trump were to go to Hogwarts what house do you think he'd be sorted into can I answer this is Barb from Stranger Things Barb from Stranger Things yeah yeah hello how's it going Barb good